Our design was built off of the concepts introduced during the Bobot lab, in which we study basic motion and distance sensing. The Bobot utilized two wheels and a rear marble for movement, as well as two distance sensors for forward distance detection. Our project was designed to put together random motion across a surface, as well as edge detection for that surface, in order to create an engaging, moving target activity in which a ball is thrown into the cups held by the bot as it traverses the table randomly. This required two main upgrades from the Bobot we are familiar with. Omnidirectional movement, in which turns could be implemented instantaneously and without the bot having to stop to rotate the chassis. And second, to detect edges, we utilized four distance sensors, which would have to detect spikes in distance readings and act to move the robot away from these detected edges before resuming random motion. The cup holder itself was designed in SOLIDWORKS to minimize weight since it was located at the top of the bot and we needed to maintain a low center of gravity to prevent tipping. It holds up to four cups and contains extra surface area at the bottom to protect the breadboard from water damage. To accomplish these two upgrades, we constructed the robot from the ground up. First, we utilized an octagonal chassis with four mechanum wheels to enable immediate direction changes without having to necessarily stop and rotate the chassis each time. Next, we positioned the sensors at an angle toward the ground to detect the edge of the table around three inches away from the chassis before a wheel would have the chance to cross the edge. The electronics were housed above the chassis but below the cup holder to avoid wires being caught in the wheels, but also to avoid liquid damage from the cups to the circuit. The cup holder assembly was raised off of the electronics with wooden standoffs, allowing for battery placement directly above the circuit board, thus condensing our wire distribution. A total of four HCSR04 ultrasonic distance sensors were used for each robot, and since our chassis had eight sides, four sensors were mounted on four sides so that they were equidistant from each other, each being angled facing toward the tables we use. Sensors sent out pulses of ultrasonic sound waves from their transmitters which bounced off objects and returned to the receivers. Thus, a 10, 10 microsecond long high pulse was sent to the trigger pins, and the sensors would output a pulse on the echo pins, which became our variable duration, the time it took for the pulses to return. The suite of sound was also incorporated into the calculation of the distances between objects, which we simply used as the variable distance, so that the robot would turn directions whenever a threshold value of 90 centimeters was detected to avoid falling off of the table. The robot was also programmed to move in random motions and directions, whether it be left, right, up or down, as long as the sensors are at a distance lower than 90 centimeters. Furthermore, the sensors would randomly detect distances of about 800 centimeters. However, this error fit well with the code as the robot would turn different directions when reading distances of over 90 centimeters. So the reading of erroneous, erroneous distances of 800 centimeters added yet another level of safety for the robot, thus making it avoid falling off tables and crashing.